Hey everyone, today I want to introduce you to the tab bar control coming from the UNO toolkit. So the tab bar control is a specialized items control that is built to display uh, a list of tab bar items, right? So this is a strip of selectionable items that you can place it within your application. You could place it wherever. Um, a lot of the times it makes sense to put it at the top or the bottom of your page to drive selection, drive visibility of views, things like that, but you can do with it whatever you'd like. So tab bar and tab bar item have a lot of customization, have a lot of properties, have a lot of cool things that you can do with it. So this is going to be the first of many TechBite videos in a series that we're going to be doing for tab bar. And so what we're going to do to get started is we're just going to build a tab bar and we're going to build on top of it in our series of videos and add more functionality to it and add more features and, and uh, build something really cool with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the tab bar and tab bar item article in the documentation and read up on it. There is a lot. It's a large article, um, so there's a lot to go through, um, but there's definitely a lot to learn, and we're going to go through it piece by piece here right now. So we're going to start with our application that I have uh, created here just as an empty shell, um, and you'll see it running live on the right here, and it'll, it'll uh, hot reload as we go. Uh, as we add more stuff to it. But basically for this introduction video, we're just gonna be creating a basic tab bar and we're gonna show you some pre-built styles that are available for the tab bar itself. So right now we have this application here. Uh, we have a navigation bar just to show the title of the application and this grid with two rows. So in our second row, we're gonna place a tab bar at the bottom of the screen. And Eventually, in our series, it's going to be styled. It's going to have all this nice functionality. It's going to drive the views that are going to be uh, above it, and it's going to be really cool. So first step is we're going to create this tab bar. We're going to add it. And we're going to align it to the bottom. Uh, we're going to put it in the second row. Oops. And we're going to give it some tab bar items to display. So we have a tab bar item whose content will be home. We have a tab bar item whose content will be, what are we gonna do, calls, and one that'll be settings, sure. And so if I then save, uh, you'll see that we have this list of, oops, sorry, this list of tab bar items that display at the bottom here. Um, that's it. And you'll see that they're selectable and they have the basic, just the basic, it, uh, items control sort of styling from Fluent uh, and they're selectable and they, they exist right here. You can do some nice stuff. So tab bar items have a content property and they also have an icon property that accepts any icon element. So we're just gonna give it um, some symbol icons. So icon is equal to phone, I think it's called. Uh, and icon is equal to um, the setting, I believe. And there you go. Now we have Tabra items with uh, some icons on the top and the text on the bottom. And we can use these to drive selection, switch to the calls page, switch to the settings page. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we build in the future. Now, this is all well and good. Um, it's looking OK. Uh, but we do have the Uno material library bootstrapped in this application along with Toolkit. And so with that comes some pre-built styles. So if we jump over to the documentation again, we do mention these a little bit in the styling the tab bar and tab bar items section. And if we go to the bottom tab bar style, because we're doing a bottom tab bar here, we see that there is a bottom tab bar style available in uh, both Material and Cupertino themed toolkit libraries. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this usage of this style. And we'll jump back to our application. And we will set that as a style on our tab bar. I'm going to format my XAML and I'm going to save. And you'll see with hot reload, we now have this material styled application. And it looks pretty different, right? So we have this selected indicator, the selection indicator that's like a pill that goes over our icon and um, it has a nice ripple effect. And so all this is done by customizing different parts of the tab bars and the tab bar items. And it even adapts to things like if I took away the content part of the home tab bar item, so there's no label that actually says home, and I were to save, you'll see that it centers this icon and the nice pill indicator just goes over the icon itself in the center of the tab bar and you can customize things like that, right? 
So that is just getting up and started, uh, getting ready with a tab bar, styling it with material. Um, we're going to get into more, some more stuff, customizing the tab bar items, getting them to, to do some really cool stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, this is the first of many, like I mentioned before. So, But I hope you learned something in this first one. We're going to build something really cool. And so uh, we'll catch you in the next one.